Hello, this is Camrock37 again. Um, today I'm going to be showing you <coughs> um, a blood reaction with 30% hydrogen peroxide. And then I'll show you how to make it outside. I don't want to make it inside because there's some things I've heard about it. Um, this one isn't labeled, but I have two bottles of it. This one has way less, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that up. Um, so, yeah, that's my blood, by the way. I'm, I'm diabetic, so, you know, I have to poke my finger anyway. Uh, check my blood sugar. So, I was going to show you 3% there, but it dried out, and it also, um, it's just boring. It just kind of has a few bubbles in it. So, I'll show you 30 here. I'm just going to pour a tiny bit. Just a second. Do this I'm using my tubing off my condenser to lift the camera. It's not working too well. Okay. Sorry about this. I'll just take off the cap. Then I will pour a little drop on. Go. Look at that. Boom. Just foams away. Yeah, it's a lot of foam. Uh, so yeah, um, three percent just kind of sizzles. Not too interesting, but um, that's concentrated. You can do a lot of things with it. Basically, just you know, stronger version. It's concentrated. So I'm gonna go over here now and show you how I make it. Um, I have a uh, alcohol lamp, and you want to use denatured alcohol only for this thing. Um, and it, it runs for about an hour if you fill with denatured alcohol. So, and it takes several hours for you to uh, boil off enough. So you do. Here, so I'll just show you what I did. I put a cinder block in the ground. So I found out the wind blows it out very easily. And, by the way, you cannot see the flame hardly at all. So, you'll just hear a sound and you can hold something over it and it'll just burst in the flames. That's how you test it. I just put some caging and netting around it so um, nothing would hit it while it was boiling. Um, so, you get your... Oh, here, I'll show you this. And stuff on here. So I got this like dog kennel cage. It was sitting over on my fence. And you put your beaker on top while it's on, full of hydrogen peroxide. You just let it sit there for several hours. When you come back out, it should be down quite a bit. Like it'll just be a little bit left in the um, the beaker you boil it in. Uh, I do suggest a beaker because a flask would kind of trap most of the um, evaporated water. So. Yeah, just use a beaker. Also, H2O2 um, boils. Like uh, I can't tell exactly. I can't remember. Um, but it's just a little bit higher, like maybe 50 or 75 degrees higher than water does. So you have to watch the temperature carefully. Um, so yeah, that's how I make it, and it does do some cool stuff with it. Blood reaction was really cool. So yeah, that's it. I'll um, probably post again tomorrow. I don't want to post another one. I'm kind of tired. I made three videos today. Um, so yeah, um, tomorrow I'll do a moth cruelty video where I just take some moths and I put them in different things to see what happens. Just to show you, put them in hydrogen peroxide, sulfuric acid, and hydrochloric acid. So yeah, that's that's it. So please comment, rate, um, comment, rate, and subscribe.